Look at our baseball diamond. And Pidger's mound doesn't look centered, does it? I have to fix that. Well, how you doing? Dogs want to come out here. So, um, in the, uh, um, in the, in the last video, right, I reference, uh, the camp video being a little bit Steven Suptic-esque. That's because originally it was. Um, but then I didn't end up, I actually did upload that version, but then I ended up taking that version down and then re-uploading, um, a normal version where it's just the video, uh, because, you know, the Steven Septic version was bad and maybe a little bit mean. Um, I probably would have kept it up, but my mom told me to take it down, so it got taken down. Um, it doesn't exist anymore, so, uh, anyway. I'm outside on this Friday. It's Friday now. That last video was on a Monday, uh, and now it's Friday. So, obviously there's been some time that's passed, um, and I don't know what's, uh, what's going on with you. Nothing's going on with me other than the fact that it might look nice outside, you know, see all the green grass and such and whatnot and what have you, but in reality it's pretty cold out like I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt and I'm cold at the moment uh, every day I've been wearing pants if I ever leave the house I put on pants and a sweatshirt because it's cold out um, but uh, I do have something cool to show you uh, see for um, Oh geez, the passenger side of my truck makes the cab look a lot dirtier than it really is. So, um, my grandfather, you know, the one with the pool and stuff, well, gave me this. Ching! Now, this is a really big knife. Um, see, like, I don't know, what's a good scale comparison? Here's a soda can, here's the knife. See that? That's a regular size soda can. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, it's really cool to me, okay? See, I've wanted a knife like this for a long time just because I think they're really cool and uh, they can be fun to play with, although you shouldn't play around with something like this. It's very dangerous. Um, but... My grandfather gave me this um, knife, and it's really cool, really awesome. Uh, the only problem is uh, I can't carry it everywhere with me. Uh, well, technically I can, but I don't because it's too big and too scary, and people would probably call the police on me. Not that I'm doing anything wrong, but they probably would if I walked into a grocery store or Walmart or something with this in my on my belt. Um, so something I've been doing with this, which is a lot of fun, is I've been slicing water bottles clean in half. Because look down that blade, look at that, look how thin that is. It cuts them really good. So let's go chop uh, some stuff in half, yeah? Hey, who remembers that video where the guy uh, took the sword and had a watermelon on a glass table and tried to chop it in half? Remember that video? Yeah. And the whole table shatters. I'm not that stupid. I'm not going to do that. So, I'm going to set the water bottle up over here. Ready? It's going to go right in half. Let's, uh, let's get the shot framed up a little bit better, huh?
Look at that cut. No, uh, can you see that? That's a pretty swift cut. So I came in it, went wing. Nice downward cut. The other half just went off the table. Okay, so I I was gonna um wrong way. I was going to chop uh, two of them. I brought two of them out to be chopped in half, but because that first one went so perfectly, I'm gonna take my knife out of a puddle of water, move it over to here. Proper knife etiquette. Um, I'm only gonna chop one in half because, uh, you know, I don't think um, I don't think anybody's been real happy with me chopping water bottles in half like that recently. Um, so I was gonna do a second one, but because that one went so perfectly, uh, I'm not gonna bother doing a second one. Um, so play that in slow motion a couple times over. I'm sure it looked great. Um, if I find anything else cool to chop in half, I totally will, because this is just, just it's the funnest thing ever. Oh my god, yeah. Um, so that's all for this morning right now. Uh, just kind of, uh, I mean. You know, it's Friday, so it's still a school day, and then I still have to go to work. But after work, we're actually doing something for once after work. We're going to Cabela's, so I'll see you when we're on our way to Cabela's. Um, that's a really cool store. Lots of cool stuff to look at in there. Also, I'm getting some backpacking gear while I'm there. Also, this knife fits in perfectly at Cabela's. Cabela's is a hunting store and, you know, outdoor gear. So, we'll see you at Cabela's. I don't, I'm nervous. What? <laughs> I said, what a complete fucking disaster. <laughs> what? what? What do you say? If you're recording me, Famous Dave's Barbecue is disgusting dog shit on a plate, and Cabela's sucks. If you want to go to a sporting goods store, you have to go, apparently, to Bass Pro Shops. Cabela's, a.k.a. bootleg Bass Pro Shops. Uh, so, so what did he say? He said that they close at 8. They used to be open till 9, but now they're open till 8. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we used to be open till 9, but now we close at 8. I said, well, that's too bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. We traveled all the way here. Well, I guess we're going to the main mall. It's just our luck, isn't it? See you then. That's sort of the, um, the end of Cabela's for us. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be cool, you know, the, the animal display and and the the toy gun laser shooting range, but the place closes, um, you know, earlier than Carter goes to bed, which is early. So, oh well, <laughs> Calvin's fault anyway. Miss Dave's barbecue is disgusting dog shit on a plate, and Cabela's sucks. Oh my God, yeah.